just four days, 30,000 exhausted runners will take on the 26.2 miles crossing the finish line of the Boston Marathon. There's no question it is a tough physical test, and athletes often need medical attention during and after the race. And now there's a way for family and friends of the runners to know exactly what's going on. Dr. Malika Marshall is here with the details. Okay, so there are 26 medical tents along the route and several more at the finish line to serve the runners who need help during the race. A handful are actually sent to area hospitals. But thanks to advanced technology, keeping track of where runners are is now a lot easier. Blisters, twisted ankles, dehydration, and hyperthermia, some of the more common ailments suffered by runners at the Boston Marathon. Last year, about 2,500 sought medical treatment during the race. And this year, there may be even more given the warmer temperatures expected on Monday, creating a real challenge to keep track of where they are. But what happens if that runner falls out, goes into a medical tent, maybe he gets on one of our medical sweep buses? Where are they? Questions which can now be answered with the emergency tracking system. 50 tablets like this one, all provided by AT&T, will be deployed to medical personnel from Hopkinton to Boston to keep tabs on runners at any given time. A volunteer will scan the barcode on a runner's bib when they enter and leave a facility. Local hospitals will also be kept in the loop. The good thing about the system as well is it'll give us an update of what we're seeing. So if, if a lot of the tents in the middle of the course are getting affected with a lot of patients, we know what to expect at the end of the tents, A and tent B. Um, and just we start gearing up for, to see more patients. And give comfort to spectators who may have lost sight of their family member during the race. If they were entered in any of the medical stations throughout the course, we would be able to look at it and tell them, yes, they were at this medical station at this time, or if they were transported to an area hospital. Then we could give them the hospital to connect their loved ones. So they can also use the data they collect from year to year to prepare for the next marathon. And as Chris Troianos, who oversees the medical services at the marathon, he says the technology we use here in Boston is often adopted by marathons all over the world. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.